Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Saturday, June 22nd, 2019. It's 1.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States, and this is my coping with schizophrenia check-in for today. Um, today I wanted to talk about caffeine. Um, one of the problems that a person with schizophrenia often faces is lack of motivation because of negative symptoms or being extra tired from the major antipsychotic medications people take, the tranquilizers, the major tranquilizers. Um, major tranquilizers are different than minor tranquilizers. Um, minor tranquilizers are drugs like Valium, Librium, Ativan, and Clonopin, which are used for anxiety and panic attacks. Major tranquilizers are drugs like um, Seroquel, Clonopin, or not Clonopin, Seroquel, um, Heldol, Thorazine, which are used for psychotic symptoms like hallucinations and delusions and paranoia. Um, but anyways, I have a tendency to use caffeine tablets to give myself more motivation and energy. And if you're t physically tired or even mentally fatigued, caffeine can temporarily increase your energy, both mentally and physically, but it could also cause an increase in paranoia, um, hallucinations, and just plain panic attacks. So I used to use caffeine tablets that were like 200 milligrams and I was taking four or five of them a day and was wondering why I was having panic attacks. Um, well, it was the caffeine. Um, if you're on medications, major tranquilizers or even minor tranquilizers and you get tired, caffeine in moderation is not a bad thing, but don't do what I did. Um, it's not easy to kill yourself with caffeine by overdosing accidentally. It takes quite a bit of caffeine to kill a person. Um, but uh, you could still have real bad problems if you overdose on caffeine. Like I said, you could have paranoia, hallucinations, panic attacks. And th this all applies even if you're not mentally ill. Caffeine in large amounts can cause really, really uncomfortable feelings of feeling nervous and shaky. Your body starts to shake, your hands tremor. Um, you start to break out in sweat. Your heart is pounding. It's like the worst kind of panic attacks you could possibly have. So if you're suffering from either panic attacks or psychosis like schizophrenia or depression, you really, really, really need to uh, regulate how much caffeine you're taking. And the ideal situation might be, from my point of view, to stop caffeine altogether um, because it can cause real serious problems for you if you are schizophrenic or even just depressed or have panic attacks or have post-traumatic stress disorder, um, caffeine and stimulants like it, like the energy drinks are probably not a good idea either because um, they're not 100% safe and energy drinks have things in them other than just caffeine. Um, I've heard of people dying from energy drinks. Um, so just in general, when it comes to stimulants that are easy to get and are not illegal, um, that doesn't mean they're safe all the time um, or all the time or most of the time. Um, depending on your illness and depending on what you're taking in, caffeine can make things much, much worse and energy drinks even more so. Um, so if you use stimulants like energy drinks and caffeine, coffee, caffeine tablets, um, use it in moderation. And also be aware that caffeine is in some preparations you may not have known it was in. For example, headache medications like Excedrin, which is used for migraine and tension headaches, has aspirin in it, Tylenol, as well as 65 milligrams of caffeine. So if you take something for a headache and you didn't know it had caffeine in it, you might end up having a panic attack and not know why. Um, you have to be aware of what caffeine is in. It's in everything from Mountain Dew to coffee to tea to certain medications. Like I said, Excedrin, which can be bought over the counter for migraine headaches has caffeine in it. It's supposed to somehow facilitate the relief of a headache, especially if it's a migraine headache. Um, so just be aware of what you're taking. Um, chocolate even has caffeine in it. Not a lot, but some people are sensitive to caffeine and chocolate might trigger a panic attack, not to mention the sugar. Um, so, you know, be aware of what you're doing when it comes to stimulants um, and don't cause yourself unnecessary pain. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section.